So I have a little bit of breaking news here for everybody. Just saw this right before I came on air. Apparently, John Kasich will be speaking at the Democratic National Convention in support of Biden. He's so anti-Trump that he's going to support Biden and speak on Biden's behalf at the DNC. So, there's a lot to say about this. I mean, first of all, let's just bring up what I think is a very interesting point, if not obvious, but this is a guy who, there were reports back in 2016 when Trump locked up the Republican nomination that Trump's team actually approached John Kasich and asked John Kasich, hey, number one, would you like to be VP? Number two, if yes, would you like to effectively run the country while Trump goes around the country and does his rallies? So in other words, that was a little bit of a signal of like, the thing Trump really likes doing is campaigning. Governing, who knows if he has, at the time, who knew if he had any ability to do it? And, you know, he probably wouldn't be good at it, doesn't really have strong ideological commitments. So why not let a serious adult person govern John Kasich? And, you know, Trump will go out there and be the, the rally for America guy, the campaigner in chief. Now, John Kasich reportedly turned that down um, because he doesn't like Trump. So to the extent that um, he's anti-Trump, good. I think, I think that's great. You know, it'd be better to have uh, more people who are Republicans or on the right say, yeah, I'm not with this guy because so much of what he's doing is just inexcusable. The abysmal failure on COVID, the the new economic depression that we're in. So, in so far as he's just anti-Trump, good. That that's a positive thing. Here's why this is annoying. The same people who blocked Nina Turner from speaking at the DNC in 2016, and instead had Mike Bloomberg, the stop and frisk billionaire, speak. Those people are going to turn around and welcome John Kasich with open arms. Well, for those of you who don't know, John Kasich is massively anti-choice, against abortion. He's, he was against marriage equality. He just recently said, no, our anti-discrimination protections do not include transgender people. So he's an anti-transgender bigot who's openly in favor of discriminating against them. No problem with that whatsoever. Does not want anti-discrimination laws to protect the trans community. And he's also incredibly anti-union. Now, he, you know, he's a moderate Republican in the context of today's Republican Party, but that's not, that's still a pretty far-right character. Now, would I be like, okay, you know what, fine, it's cool, if John Kasich was signing up for a left agenda? Yes, I'm in favor of changing people's minds. I'm in favor of converting people so that we we can build a coalition and become successful and implement our ideas. The problem with this John Kasich news is that ain't nobody changing John Kasich's mind about Dickie McGee's ex. John Kasich is acknowledging rightly that Joe Biden is a moderate Republican. So the issue with this story is that this is a new acknowledgement that, well, the Democratic Party of 2020 is just the Republican Party of 1980. They're for, you know, tax cuts for the rich. They're for deregulation of Wall Street. They're for endless wars in the military-industrial complex. That's why John Kasich is fine with endorsing Biden and advocating for him. Not because Joe Biden convinced John Kasich to go left on the grounds, on his grounds. No, it's because fundamentally... Joe Biden agrees with the right and agrees with John Kasich and agrees with establishment Republicans. So that's why this is an issue. Everybody knows I have... I have no problem with building bridges wherever we can build bridges on our terms. That's the key point. So Bernie Sanders working with Mike Lee, an otherwise disgusting far-right winger, but he worked with Mike Lee to end the genocide in Yemen. Sign me up for that all day. Why? Because we're not compromising left-wing values in the process of working with somebody. But Kasich, standing up for Biden, there's no standing up for left-wing values here. 
everybody just recognizes that Joe Biden's a moderate Republican. And so he's like, great. So the Democratic Party is like the old school Republican Party. Sign me up because I'm, I'm a Republican. That's what John Kasich is doing here. And that's why this is frustrating. The same party that put a middle finger up to Nina Turner is welcoming John Kasich with open arms. What does that tell you? What does that tell you? It tells you they got no interest in Nina Turner's politics. They got no interest in the populist left. They got no interest in social democracy. They got no interest in raising wages and ending wars. They got no interest in ending the drug war. I can go on and on. They have no interest in Nina Turner, who's right about virtually everything, and they have plenty of interest in John Kasich, who's wrong about virtually everything. By the way, the same people who are going to applaud John Kasich speaking at the DNC gave Bernie hell for acknowledging that the most popular podcaster on the planet, Joe Rogan, endorsed him. John Kasich is only a quadrillion times worse than Joe Rogan. Not even close. Not even close. Joe Rogan is for universal health care. Joe Rogan is for ending the wars. Joe Rogan is for a living wage. These are not things that John Kasich supports. He doesn't support them at all. John Kasich is way to the right of Joe Rogan. But Joe Rogan is unacceptable, and we need to cancel Bernie for just acknowledging that Joe Rogan endorsed him. But John Kasich, just, just, just shut up and welcome him with open arms, no questions asked. Again, guys, I want to be clear. Let's say Bernie Sanders won the nomination and John Kasich signed up for the Bernie Sanders agenda. I'd be like, cool, no doubt, that's what's up. Because he would be agreeing with left values, our values. Him going... And promoting Biden is simply because he knows Biden agrees with right-wing values. That's why this is disgusting. And the hypocrisy of the people who would slam Joe Rogan, who would not allow Nina Turner to speak at the DNC, but now they're like, yes, John Kasich. You guys couldn't be more clear about where your politics stand. And I'm just simply tired of the neoliberal corporatist warhawks. I can't stand them. I can't stand them. And they have tried and succeeded at taking over the establishment of the Democratic Party. These guys welcome Bill Kristol, who's a war criminal, David Frum, who's a war criminal, with open arms. They welcome John Kasich, who's a deregulator and a corporatist. They welcome him with open arms. It's the likes of Nina Turner that they say hell no to. It's a party that would much rather have John Kasich front and center than me or Nina Turner. That's the problem with this. You'll always see me advocate for working with people, even who we vehemently disagree with on other issues. You will always see me advocate working with people who agree on the specific issues where you agree, because I think that's obvious. I think that's common sense. But John Kasich is going to Biden because Biden's going to do stuff John Kasich wants, not the other way around. So, <sighs> this, is, this is who they are. In this country, we have the Republican Party and we have the Diet Republican Party. Those are your choices.